In this video, we're going to look at Springbox, a delay chorus reverbish effect from my JSFX set. Springbox is based around four delay lines feeding back into each other, each with a chorus-like detuning on them. It can create choruses and delays, a reverb-like sense of space, and long ambient textures. First, let's listen to our input, a simple vocal line. Take, take me away. Now, let's add Springbox. The default setting provides a reverb, like for a large room or hall. Let's have a listen. Take, take me away. Now, the most obvious controls are in the output section, here at the bottom. Control the wet and dry levels, and provide a filter for the wet signal. Take, take me away. The next thing to look at is this density control here. This gives an indication of how long the delay lines are. If we pull that down, we lose a lot of the sense of space. Take, take me away. If we pull it right up, you start to hear some of the individual echoes. Take, take me away. Now, you might have noticed that I also changed the late bias dial there. This control reduces the early echoes, so when it's turned up, we don't hear the individual echoes as clearly, because we mostly hear the late echoes when the feedback system has turned the sound into mush. Take, take me away. If you want the technical details of how this works, I lied to you right at the beginning of this video when I said there were four delay lines. There are actually eight. We run the same four delay line setup twice in parallel, but with slightly different feedback rates. We can then subtract the results of one from the results of the other to eliminate the early echoes, but still get the later ones. But you don't need to know that. The result is that for reverbs, turning up late bias gives you a smoother sound with fewer early echoes, but that's not always what you want. The next thing here is the echoes control. It has two modes, smooth and clustered. We've already heard smooth, and what that means is that the four delay lines are all at different lengths, around the density value here, but not exactly. In clustered mode, the delay lines are at very similar lengths, which means you get a much more structured echo sound. Take, take me away. The next thing to look at is the chorus section. This determines how much each delay line gets detuned. We specify the chorus speed and the detuning amount. If we turn detuning down all the way, our sound loses some of the fullness. Take, take me away. However, if you crank it right up, you can hear that the echoes are extremely detuned and with every feedback iteration, they get more and more detuned. Take, take me away. But Springbox can do more than just reverbs. It can do choruses and flanger-like sounds. So if we pull the delay length down and remove all the feedback, we can use the four delay lines like a chorus. Take. Take me away. We can also use the clustered echo pattern to get a kind of slap back chorus. This clustered echo pattern means we get four different detuned delays, all at around 100 milliseconds. Take, take me away. And finally, let's make a big ambient texture by putting in a long delay length lots of feedback, and heavy on the late bias. Take, take me away. Well, that's Springbox. If you're interested, there are links at the bottom including how to install it and some presets that I use. 
I'm doing videos for my other effects too, so do have a look for those if you're interested, and bookmark or subscribe for any future ones. I hope this video was useful, I hope you get some good sounds of these effects.